Hey, let's turn this raw audio into MIDI. First, let's hear what our audio sounds like. May sound familiar, but I have no idea what the notes are. So to do that, all we're going to do is pull up one plugin. If you don't have any of the main versions installed, it's going to ask you to activate. Uh, player is what it's called by default, but you can't export anything. Essentials is all that we're going to need. So I'm going to activate real quick. Now that that's done, you see it's already analyzed the audio, but it looks like it's monophonic, like there's only one voice playing at the same time, but I know that's not the case. What we're going to do to change that is we're going to go to the algorithm and to find something that has more than one note playing at the same time, we're going to look for the polyphonic. And there's some sustain to this. I imagine I get similar results in decay, but I'm going to choose polyphonic sustain. It's going to redetect what those notes are. And we have our MIDI, but we're going to have a hard time getting it out uh, intuitively. Uh, and there's no settings like file save as MIDI does not save it in the right place. If we want it in our project, all we have to do is go to the last place you check, the preset button over here, and towards the bottom we have import into project. So what we're looking for is the notes. If you import the tempo or the tempo and time signature, you're just going to get weird changes to the grid and reaper. So let's go ahead and export those notes. And voila, we have the notes to our little audio here. And it wants to repeat to fill out the time selection. To go ahead and hear how well Melodyne did, I'm going to go ahead and put Serum on this track, solo it real quick, and take a listen. Almost. I think if we just move this note over here. I'm going to be pretty satisfied with the results. So that's audio to MIDI in Reaper using Melodyne.